vantage point on the on the fumble? Ignorance fumble at the end? Uh, I don't know. You know, I feel terrible for him and, and, and for the team because, gosh, they did so many things good tonight. That was as much fun as I've ever had coaching a football game with the fans the way they were in the stadium and the way we responded. And they're a damn good football team. I give them a lot of credit. So are we. Um, and I told the boys before the game, usually those games come down to one or two plays. And, um, you know, we. Another thing I really love is we took the field with on that drive, and I think everybody thought we were going to win this game. It wasn't what's going to go wrong. Let's make sure they don't have time to go in. We were going to go win the game and got a first down to start it. And guy Adrian's a warrior, uh, and he's an unbelievable player. So I, I hurt for him, but I, I told the boys don't hang your heads because, you know, I don't know if his momentum was stopped or not, <laughs> but uh, we can't. Expect to get those breaks. We got to make them. Quick flip for the offense in the second half. I mean, you really got it rolling after sort of scuffling in the first half. You know, we opened it up some. Um, we started out kind of shooting our shot, and I wanted to establish the run game, so uh, we tried. They're really good against the run. Uh, their linebackers were fitting fast. Thought they had a good game plan for a lot of the stuff that we did. Um, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot on one drive where we could have got points with a with a penalty. And uh, you know, looking back, you know, I was trying to win the game, and I want to keep the kids aggressive, and I want to be aggressive. But probably would have kicked the field goal knowing how the whole thing ended. Um, but the guys just kept battling. Uh, I think we opened it up for them a little bit, and guys made plays. Did a chance then, even after the, the field goal late, did you did you like? Obviously, the way you started the drive, then what did you see in the, the last couple of, of plays of, of the game? On the two-minute drive? Yeah, get out to midfield. And then sort of Great route and, and catch by Samari. Um, thought we had a chance to hit a shallow on first down. They brought pressure on second. Um, we were really close to hitting the screen on third. Uh, one more step out there quicker by our guard, and I think it creases. Uh, then on fourth down, they brought zero blitz and um, tried to take a shot to one of our best players. And um, they were pressuring us a lot tonight, uh, which I don't blame them. Um, but they've been doing it all year, and you know we trying to protect Adrian a little bit too. And uh, thought we got the drive started real well. I'm still really confident at that point. We just needed one more play to keep the chains going. In the first half. Well when you called timeout to, to review the scoring play, what was your explanation that you got from the officials? Because they, 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 review, they review every scoring play. Right? Yeah, I don't want to talk much about officiating, but they, they told me they reviewed it. And um, Ryan Held did a good job in the box. He saw the replay and said the quarterback's knee was down. So we got it stopped before the PAT. How do you size up the defensive performance? Uh, I mean, they were out there a lot of snaps. Did you sense they're a little tired, gassed at the end? Yeah, I told the team, you know, we're so close. And one more play, one more stop. Um, when we get ahead by seven with seven minutes left, we need to win the game. Um, I think it hurt the defense a little bit. We scored so fast in the third quarter that the defense was out there a long time. And I don't know if they were a little worn out at the end of the game. In these type of physical games, you get beat down a little bit. And you know, we wanted to be ahead through that type of period so we we could keep our offense on the field and their defense on the field. And um, we hit some big plays, and our defense was out there a long time. Um, so proud of these guys. And gosh, that was fun with the environment and the fans. And uh, as bad as I want this to work for our coaching staff, I'm, I want it to work more for the players and for the state. And, and we got a really good team. I'm so proud of them. On the, on the first drive of the night and the, and the importance to get a touchdown? Yeah, I, I didn't think we were going to win the game with field goals. Um, we've been really good in the red zone on um, the f one and two yard line uh, with some of the stuff we've designed. And they did a good job taking that away. Um, they had a guy wide. I uh, thought about calling timeout, thought we could still get him cracked, and the guy on him came off and still thought we might have been able to uh, bust it up in there and get it. but. Um, you know, I, I trust our guys. This is the most I've ever trusted this team and, and a team I've coached here. And uh, I want to give them a chance to make plays. What do 
interesting the way that, that Bryce handled, obviously he got benched and he got thrown right back in there after, after Teddy got hurt. And then also, I know it's early, but do you know anything about where Teddy's at? No, don't know anything yet. Uh, you know, Bryce has played a lot of football, so that's a really good guy to be able to put into a game, somebody that's played that much. What did you feel got going so well offensively in the third quarter after a lot of struggles in the second quarter? Uh, you know, we, we go into the game with a game plan. Um, to be honest, we made a few adjustments, I think, that helped. We needed to be running a, a little bit of our answers to our option plays because the base stuff, they weren't giving us the pull and ability for Adrian to get on the perimeter. So we had to kind of manufacture that, um, popped a few things in the run game. Um, thought there was some great job by Coach Lubick scheming a couple things up that, that gave us big plays. And um, yeah, it was the same on both sides. They, they didn't just run it down our throat. We didn't run it down their throat. You got to hit some big plays. And it really comes down to they probably hit one more big one than we did. Scott, is it tough to explain? I mean, so many of these games are being decided by that much. And it seems like they're so close. How do you keep guys' spirits up when you're that close, but the, the record isn't what you, you want it? Because this team loves each other. Uh, they love coaches, coaches love them. This is this is a tightly knit team and gosh, I'm proud of them. Uh, we've come so far. Um, <laughs> I, I thought tonight was the night. Every, you know, in games past, when we've gotten ahead, I, th I got the sense that everybody was thinking what's going to go wrong and I didn't feel that at all tonight. It was, you know, defense, defense did a great job and then offense answers and um, we're down four or whatever it was and uh, man that was a great drive the offense put together to get it down the field and punch it in with seven minutes and you're right there and you just need to play um, we'll get there this is I'm having a lot of fun coaching these guys this year and um, I'm hurting for them more than anything but I, I'm so so happy for them and, and proud of how far they've come uh, Nick Henrich was all over the field today with 15 tackles. Can you sort of speak about what you saw from him out there? Nick's a warrior. Uh, you know, you, you win in this league with tough guys and veteran guys and guys with experience. Um, our defense is kind of there. Uh, Nick and Luke are, we're still young, but guys have played a lot of football and they're playing well. Um, and we knew when we recruited Nick, he was going to be a, a special player and he fought through some injuries. Uh, but he's he's a great guy and a great football player, and he's going to make a lot of tackles around here. Take two more. Scott, you had quite a few short yardage. Do you ever consider putting the bigger backs in in those situations, or is Ramir your best option in those? Ramir was playing the best. Um, we had a second and one in our territory in the third quarter, um, and our back went the wrong way. I think we would have picked it up, then we didn't get it on third. That was a big play. and. Um, yeah, Ramirez was playing well, so uh, he's running hard and hitting the hole, and we wanted our best guy on the field. The passage Ferris, uh, at the end of the first half. Not going to talk, talk, anything anything? talk about that. Did Jojo tell you anything yet? Not going to talk about that. Scott, what did you see from Cam Taylor Britt? Double digit tackles, some pass breakups? Yeah, I thought Cam let the game come to him a lot better today rather than trying to force it. I uh, made some unbelievable plays on some deep balls. Uh, Q's playing really well, too. Um, I don't see our corners giving up a lot of things. and. Um, Gosh, I, I love coaching those guys. They, they, they play hard. <laughs> We're a good football team. Uh, it's, it's hard to imagine the things that, that have happened to us, uh, all happening to us, and sometimes you can't even anticipate them. Uh, but, yeah, I'm proud of these guys. We're going to keep fighting and um, do our best to prepare for Minnesota.